Panur Manve Mission, The Beginnings. This is the introduction to the Panur Manve Mission, Karnataka Jesuit province, for several years got bogged down in Mangalore, Bangalore, Hassan axis. There was hardly any new thinking or innovative approach to the educational apostolate. However, this status quo mentality slowly started to change after the 32nd General Congregation, which gave a call to work for the service of faith and promotion of justice as the characteristic of Jesuit apostolate. In 1998, a large contingent of Karnataka scholastics were pursuing their theological studies at the Novelli College, Pune. Among these, a small group of five used to meet regularly to discuss and dream about their future apostolic life. During summer months, they visited some of the poor parishes of Valerie Diocese. In May 2002, Eric and Joseph approached Bishop Joseph de Silva to share about their experience and dreams for the poor people, especially Dalits of the diocese. Within a few days, Bishop Joseph de Silva agreed to hand over the Jagir Panu Parish to the Jesuits of Karnataka province in perpetuity. This was done on the feast of Saints Peter and Paul on the 29th of June 2002. Jagir Panu, which was a substation of Manvi Parish and became a parish in 1994, had around 500 Catholics with two substations. When the Jesuits took over the parish, there was a small primitive type of church which could accommodate around 75 persons, a small sacristy and a very badly built presbytery with two rooms on the ground floor and one on the first floor. The small size of the church was totally inadequate for the people, hence a new church was planned on a nearby plot that was bought by the bishop. The planning went on for a few years to find the necessary resources. The work on the new church building began in 2011 with the laying of the foundation stone by Father Francis Serao S.J., the provincial. There is a saying among social reformers, if you give a person a fish, he or she will eat once, but if you teach a person to fish, he or she will eat for the rest of his or her life. This was the strategy followed by the Jesuits in the very first year of their daily encounters with their social reality in the villages of Panu and its surrounding villages. A permanent solution to the rampant illiteracy in the villages demanded a good school with quality education. The provincial was persuaded about the need for a school for the poor children of Panu. The first building put up was near the main entrance, a longish building that contained a classroom, boarding, teacher's room, prayer room, Jesuit living room, dining hall, and a kitchen, all in one. Along with the construction of the school building, a hostel to house children from distant villages was thought of, and the idea became a reality with the help of various benefactors and the support from the province. The large hostel block on the border of the property, called Loyola Hostel, houses around 300 girls and small boys. Loyola PU College The provincial gave permission to start PUC in 2010, and the first batch of students passed out in 2012 with 84 person results. We started the degree college with all the three screens of BA, BCom, and BSc courses in 2011. Loyola Kapepaladi School, situated in Panu village of Manvi Taluk, caters to the most disadvantaged sections of the society in remote areas. 
This year, the school had a total strength of 270 students from 13 surrounding villages. To inculcate a sense of national integration and communal harmony, important feasts like Dipavali, Ramzan, and Christmas were celebrated in the school. The significance of each of these festivals were made known to children. A new impetus is given to the formation of the self-help groups in the villages. Five community organizers were appointed and they were given five areas for the intervention in the villages. Each animator had around 15 villages to look after. All our intervention in the villages could be grouped under the following heads. Training and awareness programs, livelihood programs, skill development of the adolescents and youth, remedial teaching in villages, preschool at Yadadaladurdi, health, housing, construction of community halls, interventions in Devdasi villages, special functions.